A year ago, I tore my ACL doing a tantrum on a wakeboard. I'm insane. <laughs> I then continued to wakeboard and lived the next nine months of my life with no ACL because I didn't think it was that bad. Eventually, I got it checked out and I needed surgery. It has been eight weeks since I underwent the procedure. This is how I'm doing. For the first six weeks, I had an automatic bike I did every day that increased in difficulty as I did it more. It's a special study my doctor was doing and I attribute my early progress to that. I'm almost able to bend my surgical leg as far as my good leg and if it weren't for the bike, I would be far behind. My good flexion has given me the ability to do many normal leg exercises like squats and lunges. When I started, I didn't get much depth, but the more I healed and got stronger, the lower I've gotten. These exercises also help to bring back my quad. That's a big muscle that forgets how to function after surgery, and getting it to work properly is an important step. Stairs have always been the hardest thing I do every day. Step downs target my patellar tendon, which is where they took the graft to make my new ACL. So building back that strength is what's going to take the longest. While the important thing is my knee, building up the muscles around it will also help with my recovery. Things like calf raises and balance exercises do just this and make my legs stronger overall. At week 10, I will run for the first time since the surgery. This is a big milestone and will get me one step closer to normal. I feel I will be prepared to take that step and will tackle it like every other milestone so far. I'll give you guys that update when it happens, but for now, that's going to be the video. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to keep up on my recovery. Peace.